Today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get rid of bad Google reviews every time guaranteed. I am not joking. If you have bad Google reviews, that you had left by a competitor, a crappy customer, whatever it is. I'm gonna tell you by the end of the video how to get rid of it. And this isn't gonna be crappy information like, just dispute it and it'll go away. Cause a lot of times that isn't gonna work. Sometimes it will, most of the time it's not gonna work. I'm gonna talk about actually disputing reviews, how to actually get it to work the most successful way possible. And then when that fails, that you break out the big guns and you actually can get rid of that negative review no matter what, okay? Of course, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money, but it's worth it. It still amazes me to this day how much people think negative reviews don't matter to their business. And we made a video about bad Yelp reviews and how to get rid of those specifically. Since everybody hates Yelp, it's a greatly popular video. You know, I tell people it might be a few hundred bucks a month to get rid of this short term anyway to get rid of the, your, so that Yelp doesn't show up on the first page of Google anymore for your business, that one star there, they suddenly aren't interested in fixing the problem no more. Oh, they were, it was so important to them until they realized they had to spend some money and then now, oh, nope, no, it's not important anymore. I could tell you from previous experience, and I've got videos where we ran case studies on how much the conversion rate affected the business before and after having these bad reviews. There's no way at least when you sell anything that's even halfway expensive, we're talking over a hundred bucks in cost, that if you have something like that on the front first page of Google, your conversion rates on your traffic, you're driving to your site's gonna be affected by minimum, minimum 10%. If you're spending 10 grand a month on ads, a thousand a month of, of that money is going right down the garbage or right down the drain. And the, and the more traffic you drive to the site, the bigger the stakes are, which you've got organic traffic coming to the site, basically, Another way to put it is, is if you do a million dollars a year in sales, that bad review is costing you a hundred grand worth a year. Lost sales. Cause you know what happens of course is, is people right before they buy, yes, they, they are doing this, typing in your product name and then reviews after it. And they're gonna go look at your reviews and if they find that crap, they're not buying, okay? Just like, by the way, they're not buying if they go to your social media and you've had a post from 2017 that you made and then one from 2014 and that's all you've ever done there because people want to know that if they have a problem with their order or what they're buying that they're not going to get screwed over they can return it whatever with that said google reviews ties in with all of that a lot of times that's obviously just local businesses those google reviews are important google reviews can be for they're mainly set up for a local business too but other businesses have them if you've got to where your overall rating is under a four, you're taking a hit on any traffic you drive to your site now that checks you last minute out before they buy. And that's gonna be the case for anything that where you sell anything over $100 in cost. If you have bad reviews and you still have a 4.7 rating, it's certainly not gonna affect you really that much. And the studies show that a 4.3 rating is the most believable rating. If it's a perfect five out of five, sometimes people get skeptical, it's too positive. Reg but regardless of what you think about it, this is gonna tell you how to get rid of any individual Google, bad or Google reviews you have. You need to walk up your score, you can do that. I don't, I'm not advocating that you do this unethically. The information is the information you do what, do with it what you will. I'm just telling you how to deal with it. And of course, I, I got to tell you where you're, if you were abused, how to get rid of it. You can also obviously use this to get rid of bad reviews where you really stomped on a customer and you want to sweep it under the rug too. But before I get into it, I'm Corey Zyman, owner of Guaranteed PPC, a PPC slash online advertising agency that guarantees results for clients on and through their ads. We do not take a management fee from our clients until we get them a certain lift in profitability of their ads up front or to a certain minimum level of profitability with their ads in general. I'm able to do that for clients at our firm because I'm the key strategist at the firm and I've got 20 years of online advertising experience in order to do it and I've worked with many, many companies. With that, part of the equation though always is does your website work? We help people with that. And is your reputation solid online? You gotta have all the pieces of the puzzle together to make the business work and grow. I've seen what people have done with their reviews, picked up things over the last 10 years running this firm, of which I've boiled and condensed down for you in this video here on how to deal with Google reviews that are bad, or you could obviously get rid of even a good review if you wanted to for whatever reason. So with that said, getting into the content here, Sometimes you're gonna get a customer 
obviously, who is gonna weaponize the review system on Google to get free stuff. If you haven't had this happen to you yet, you're just new in business. Oh, if you don't do X, Y, Z, I'm gonna leave a bad review on, for you on Google Business or whatever. And it's extortion, practically legalized extortion, if you will. You can't do nothing. And the negative review is gonna affect your, your conversion rates on prospective customers that you want to buy from you so much. You gotta just give that person the damn refund or comp them on the free thing they want. People love to come back later after you've delivered what you have and say, hey, you said you were gonna give me this and this. And you know, because it wasn't explicitly written down, you're screwed. With what I'm giving you in today's video is you ha now have a defense against that in case that happens to you in the future. They're asking for too much because if obviously they want an extra $10 from you, just give them your damn refund. Who cares about that? If they want $5,000 worth of value out of you, then now you're gonna have a way to defend yourself in those scenarios. The other thing of course is, is competitors have been also leaving bad reviews for people. I see this not all the time, but often. If you're in a market where there's millions of dollars on the line, why wouldn't it not be the case that people want to defend their profits from new players coming in and stealing them away? I've made a video about all the ways that our clients are being affected by unscrupulous players in the market, whether that they be calling in with a robot to crap up their phone lines, um, marking their business on Google Business as out of business so that they, their ranking on their three pack goes away, or changing the location of their business to someplace out in the Pacific Ocean. That's happened several times to some of our clients in the recent past. A dozen plus things that they can do to you to take your business down. So with that, obviously, is them leaving negative reviews that are fake to try to take you out. You know, naturally, it's harder than what you think. You can't just go leave 10 reviews on somebody like that. But if somebody actually wants to defend their millions of dollars of your business and their war chest that they have, it's not that hard to go figure out how to leave 10 negative reviews on your competitor and all your competitors for that matter. And it in itself won't take a business out. But once you start click frauding their ad, which we see all the time now, and you do this and you do this, and then it, it, each little thing is like a, a cut. And after enough cuts, you're, you're blood dry. So anyway, with that said, regardless of what and why you wanna get rid of the negative reviews or reviews on your Google Business Profile, here's the way that you're gonna be able to specifically do it. Of which, naturally, the stuff on the higher the list, it's a, the easier stuff to do, but the least effective. Or should I say, the least likely to get rid of your problem. Whereas if you make it to the bottom of the list here, as I'm gonna describe, you're gonna have 100% effectiveness but it's gonna be the hardest. And when I say hard, it's just gonna be hard on your wallet, not hard on your in terms of labor. Whereas the stuff up here takes some labor, doesn't cost any money. With that said, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you wanna know how to make millions of dollars running ads for your business, this is the channel that you wanna to subscribe to out of all other channels because the information is genuinely coming from somebody who spends 40 hours a week doing ad testing and strategy for dozens of different ads and ad, ad accounts, spending 40 hours a week to figure out what works and what doesn't work in terms of online ad platforms. And I give it to you all on this channel for free, which is unique because most of the other information you're gonna find online about how to run ads profitably is gonna come from people that are trying to sell you a course that don't run any ads or run a couple ads and they're just pulling your chain. If you're serious about that topic, you wanna to subscribe. I also got a great blog on my site at guaranteeppc.com slash blog that actually, if you wanna know how we guarantee results for our clients, it's all there. I have the actual strategies themselves with screenshots, with everything. If you like the channel, you're gonna like the blog as well. If you have any questions about ads or marketing or anything I talked about here, you can leave me a comment in the comment section. I get back to every single person who leaves me a question or comment on this channel, usually within 24 hours time or roughly thereof. Getting back to the list here, the first thing you're gonna always do, which you probably already know that you could do or may have already tried is to flag the review or to dispute the review. And you could say to Google, click the little three dots next to it, dispute it, hopefully Google will remove it. Most of the time they're not gonna remove it unless it's outrageous like this guy you know, came in, there's just something ridiculous you're not gonna get it removed. If it is ridiculous or it's clear that they never did business with you. Unfortunately, like Yelp, somebody could say, say they called and they didn't like the tone of your secretary and leave a negative review like that, they're gonna keep it, which is retarded. Google, if they legitimately did not say about their experience of doing business with you directly, they're not gonna let it stick. Just to let you know, so you can't say like, this guy's 
armpit smell like and get it to, and if you dispute it that that kind of thing will go away because it has nothing to do with doing business with them and your experience you could do that if that doesn't work you of course recruit other people to flag it because legitimately as we've seen before with other clients if enough people flag the review it actually even though they dispute they ruled against your dispute initially the more people that dispute it the more likely it's going to go down maybe get 10 other of your friends to dispute it and then maybe that will fix it. And it has to be done in a natural way for it to work. You can't just have 10 in a row because that's not natural. Just like with trying to get SEO or organic rankings, you can't, as they talk about in that space, you can't send 10,000 backlinks to your website at once. Google's gonna, they're not that dumb. You gotta do one and then wait a week and do another, wait two weeks, do another, which it's a pain in the ass and you're losing sales the whole time and you may not wanna do that. You also can then, can appeal the dispute rejection. So you dispute the review. It doesn't work. Then you can appeal that by contacting Google support. There's a specific process to appeal that. You want to know what that is? Leave me a comment below and I'll point you in the direction of the, like, the little form to do that basically. But you can do that and maybe that will get a uh, review removed. If it looks like a legit review though, it's going to be still kind of tough to get it removed. Whereas the reason why they have that, and the way that Google saves money is they use automation as much as they can to not have people make decisions and run things. When you dispute it initially, part AI, part outsourced people doing the checking. Whereas if you dispute it, it's going to be checked by a human or maybe somebody in America. So they're going to get a little bit better at it. Believe it or not, they actually can use AI to just on the disputes. Because if you think about it from Google's perspective, how many people are disputing reviews every day? Tens of thousands of reviews or just how the hell are they going to have humans check them all? It would take a freaking army of people. So they are using software and then a human. So what they do is they use a bot to say no, basically. And then they assume that if you weren't supposed to have that review reflect, you'll give up. But if you if they made a mistake, now they have a human, the way to have a human check it over with the idea that if you actually were doing something wrong, you wouldn't ask the human to reconsider. Whereas if they did screw up, so now they only have to have a human check it after the filter came through of you knowing that I think you get what I'm trying to say here. They on the ads, because we manage Google ads all the time, they'll knock down an ad, disapprove it using AI to just see if an ad is supposed to be, if it's using language that is not supposed to be used to get knock it down. And the word blood may not be allowed on the ad, but if you've got a ad for um, blood donation, their algorithm does is just disapprove any ad with the word blood in it. And then they'll, but they'll allow you to appeal it, knowing that if you were really doing some wrong, she won't appeal it. Whereas if you do appeal it, they know they screwed up and now a human will come in, then knock down the amount of humans they need to disapprove ads by 90%. Anyway, you can do that. Maybe that will work. If that doesn't work, you also can, if that doesn't work, you also can, by the way, go to complain on Google support forum. And naturally, if the review looks legit, you might be a little embarrassed to do this. You can do it anyway. Yes, Google has a support forum. You can go on there, you can say, and you are gonna legitimately have to say that you disputed it and you went through and you appealed the dispute and it's still rejected. That's the time to specifically reach out to them because that's what they're gonna ask you to do once you say that the dispute didn't work. They're gonna say, did you appeal it? Anyway, if you want the, the appeal form, let me know. But that doesn't work. Okay, now you have the, the last option, which is to hire a specialized hitman company to fix the review. What somebody, there are reputation management companies, if you will, that know how to get negative reviews, reviews removed, whether that be through legal action, whether that be through uh, copyright uh, infringement notification, uh, whether that be having a pool of hired guns to flag and dispute the review, hundreds of them. To say, and sometimes it takes one, one doesn't work, you have to do the other. This is stuff that legitimately costs resources. It costs money to have 100 people on staff to flag reviews down. It takes money to hire an actual attorney to file certain legal paperwork to Google to say something has violated copyright or what have you. Understandably, if you really want it removed, then you can do that. I can tell you from personal experience that I know somebody who actually, a company I should say, a small company that does exactly what I'm talking about where they can get reviews removed. We do not do this internally ourselves, just for the record. But I know who does 
And this is kind of a sketchy gray area business, so we can't just name drop on the channel here. But if you want to know who it is, if you reach out to me on my site at guaranteedppc.com, I'll tell you who it is and get you hooked up with them. But for about $1,300 a review, they can get any review knocked out, which you may already say, oh, there's no way I'm paying that. Going back to though what I said at the beginning, if your review, if you're under a four star, there are customers, not maybe, not if, not buying from you, you have that kind of a low rating. Because in the customer's mind, why you got the bad review. It doesn't matter if it's a bad customer or you know you think everybody, it's too hard to get five star reviews or whatever. Doesn't matter. The consumer is judgmental. People judge a book by its cover. And the easiest way for somebody to know whether they do business with somebody or not is to look at that rating because it's easy to do. And you're screwed if that you even have anything less than a four because the further down it goes, the more people are gonna back out at the last second doing business with you. It won't affect whether they call or inquire, but right before they buy, many of them are gonna check your reviews out. And if it's screwed up, you're gonna lose. It's just a matter of how much. And the lower it is, the worse it is. To the point where if you have a one star and you're selling something in the thousands of dollars range, I've seen people have to shut down their entire business because nothing they were doing anymore worked. They were spending all this time doing the sales pitch and whatnot. And at the end of the day, it made their business and sales funnel so inefficient, they just had to shut down and start over again. You know, it, it's really that bad. And so, and then there's just different shades of everything in the middle, depending on how bad it is. And the more expensive of whatever you sell is, because the more, more money people are gonna pay, the more they're gonna weigh on reviews and doing check on reviews before they plunk down that money, because it's a bigger risk. You may have a three star and you sell something for a thousand bucks and you may think you're okay. In that scenario, I can tell you you're also already losing some sales already. And if you think about it, you know, a generalized perspective, like I was saying at the start of this video, if you're doing even a half million dollars a year in sales and you got a three star instead of a four and a half star, at the end of the day, that in and itself by itself can easily take you from 500,000 to 450,000 in sales, but you're 500 and get it up to 550, just making that one thing, getting it from a three to at least a four star. Way, you know, the one time cost of having to fix this, which might be five, 10 grand, but you're getting 50 grand a year in sales moving forward ongoing once that's fixed. You, know, you just have to force yourself to do the math. Is this worth it? Is it not? Do the math. There are situations where it can cut your conversion rates in half if you're low enough. If you're a one or two stars and you're selling something for thousands of dollars, your Google business profile shows up prominently when you type in your business name and business name plus reviews or just business name in general, I should say. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be 50% reduction in your conversion rates on the traffic you're driving to the site. And before you, you work, if you work so hard to get traffic to your site and then you don't fix the bottom part of your funnel, or, you know, that make sure it's tight at the bottom as well, you're just making it harder on yourself than you need to. With that said, uh, and speaking of, if you want somebody to get you phenomenal results on your ads, assuming you don't have terrible reviews, which make it almost impossible for someone like myself to even help you at our firm, but if you want to get guaranteed results with your ads, you can reach out to me at guaranteeppc.com. I will give you a free consultation to see what kind of results we can guarantee for you. Literally speaking, do 99.9% .9 of the work you need to get your ads to work better or to get a campaign off the ground. We do work on new campaigns as well. That's a done for you service. We also sell ad templates. These have been immensely popular. Over the last 10 years of running this advertising firm, gotten results in hundreds of different niche markets. If we've already worked in your niche market already, you would do yourself a huge favor, huge favor, taking the winning ads, landing pages, campaign templates, all of it that work for your niche market and just simply reuse it for your campaigns, copy paste those into your own ad account and get the results that we've got already. That And we can tell you the results you're gonna get with it up front. If you wanted to start a whole new business because you wanted to get into something else, the easiest way to do it is to take a winning ad sales funnel we've got for a market that we've already operated in. If you wanna get into e-commerce, you could take a template to sell printer toner and sell it in a country that you know, our client doesn't operate in and you got a turnkey business, you could sell leads. Several people do with the templates that we've had before. So anyway, if you're interested in any opportunity like that, you can also reach out to me at guaranteedppc.com. With that said, I talked about the type of results that, how much this can affect your business. 
to literally to the point where it makes your business unprofitable and you have to restart from scratch. Maybe your answer is to get more positive reviews. That can be a way to fix it. And I don't you know, blame you to do that. If you're in a situation right now where you're struggling financially, you can't make what you have work. It can obviously be better to just fix the reviews outright first because of what I'm telling you. And people don't like to hear that if they're in a financial situation, they wanna know what can they do for little money for a few grand to fix all your negative reviews like that. Anybody can come up with that if they're serious. Just take my word for it that if you're under a four star, your conversion rate's gonna get hit unless you sell something less than a hundred bucks per transaction. It's just a matter of how much. It can go from 5% 10 to 10% all the way up to where you're gonna have half of your people not buy from you of having a one or two star, like I've seen literally before in the data recovery space, the guy was doing data recovery, which for something like that, it also matters. You would think it would matter a lot because people, they don't want the person to screw up. I mean, they had to restart all over again, start a whole new, and which is obviously expensive because you gotta set up all new branding, everything, but they had to do that to even get ad and traffic they were driving to their site to even be profitable again anymore. So just telling you how much this can actually affect your business. Whereas before we also had people, just to give an example, in the air duct cleaning space, which is another space that kind of doesn't have much trust involved, but just having a like a 2.8 review score there, the conversion rates, once we walk that up, we didn't help the client directly in that case again, but walking that up to over a four, that was able to get an immediate bump, 20 to 30% in the closing rates on the leads that they were getting. We knew this because client told me, you know, there was night and day difference in how many jobs that were closing. It was definitely tangible in terms of the results once they got that finally fixed. Once I found out how to actually get these fixed, which I didn't think you could do, you could actually hire companies to get rid of bad reviews on Google. I started telling people that had this problem, we want ad campaigns to work for our clients. And when I see they have bad reviews, I'm gonna definitely bring that service up now from now on. Decided to make a video about it here to tell other people that this is an option for them instead of just deciding like, oh man, I'm done. I need to start over. Before you do that, work and to go on the other side of this, you need to work on having a system to get positive. You fix the issue, but if you have no way to get positive reviews, you eventually might end up in the same boat all over again. So you gotta do, technically do both. but. Anyway, with that said, that is pretty much everything I can tell you about Google reviews, disputing them, how to get having bad reviews to where if you your overall rating is under a four, how to deal with it, regardless of your situation, every time guaranteed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Remember when I said negative review was important during this video? Well, this video here tells you how to do it.